So what's going on guys, my name is Violent, welcome to Grid Zombies. Today we're going to be moving over to Xbox One for just a little bit. We're looking at the DLC add-ons over here on Xbox. And as you can see, we have a uh, DLC 2, DLC 1, and of course Zombies in Spaceland that came with the game, all these voice packs and whatever, but we're not seeing DLC 3, okay? And uh, we're all wondering when is the actual release date going down for uh, Infinite Warfare over on Xbox One. Because uh, we all want to play Attack the Radioactive Thing, right? I know I got everything on the channel already for you guys to check out, so check out uh, the playlist if you want. However, Call of Duty did officially announce this, that Attack of the Radioactive Thing brings the 1950s to uh, Infinite Warfare Absolution. That is the name of the map pack for DLC 3, so when you're looking in here, you'll look for Absolution. And that's now out on PS4 for Xbox One and PC coming August 8th, okay? So PS4 does have this map pack, we know that. We've been waiting for this 30-day deal to finally get over with, and we're finally approaching August 8th, which will finally be the release date for Xbox One and PC, in case you guys were wondering. So I wanted to get that right out the way, right at the beginning of the video, so we can move on with this conversation. One thing that did just happen is we got a bounty reset. As you guys know, our rewards do stay the same, but our challenges are different. I can't stress that enough as you see these weekly bounties reset on my channel, okay? The rewards stay the same, but the bounties themselves are different, okay? So for what I got, I definitely have 90 keys, okay? 250 salvage are my rewards. Those are the same type of rewards that you'll be seeing in your bounties as well. We do have an expiration date. Of course, it's going to be another week. This is our weekly reset, and I'm going to be showing you guys in-game exactly how I went about uh, achieving these. Now, these are very simple. A lot of you guys know how to do these bounties, and the great part of why we love them so much is primarily that they're easy. You know, it's an easy way to get salvage your keys. And for as fun as this game mode is, perhaps the greatest downfall is how you earn keys, because there's not really a good way of earning keys. You get a certain amount after completing a Zombies game, you get a few for playing a multiplayer game. There's not a good method as to, or strategy, if you will, to find out exactly what's worth it to make keys, you know, because we don't have a PvP mode. If we had a player versus player mode in Zombies, 100% a lot more people would have more fun earning keys and actually using the loot system But uh, we got a very collective group here playing this title right now, and I'm here for you guys I'm definitely here for you guys right now as many of you guys know a lot of the glitches that I've been talking about Prior errors updates. They're all gonna be fixed in the next TU and the TU stands for title update That's definitely gonna be coming within the next week and uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be a game update or an actual patch update. They did state that a patch would not be possible. They would have to do an update. But their version of patch and update seems to be a little different than mine. But that's okay. These developers will get it down sometime or another. Lee Ross, he just tweeted out, finished the season's last voiceover session for Willard Wyler, playing the wonderfully talented Pee Wee Herman, a.k.a. Paul Rubens, yesterday. DLC 4. I cheekily put, nice, can't wait for the reveal trailer. Hopefully it's before launch this time. Now I do have some people arguing with me over on Twitter right now that during the 50s they would release an actual movie in the trailer later. Alright, I'm telling you that the marketing standards of today's world does not work that way and it actually makes an impact negatively on your game. It 100% did for DLC 3, we all saw it and the exposure was not that good. Now, if you had a trailer out beforehand, people would know what they're getting pumped for, all right? It's just simple science. goes along with the saying of, you will buy things before you see it. Now, I don't believe in that way of thinking. That way of thinking is an older mentality that uh, is vanishing, all right? And I 100% don't think it should be brought back in today's world. we got enough greed as it is, fellas. As you know, it's hard enough to earn keys and to do things in this game mode. And with no PvP mode, the future doesn't look that bright. We do have a DLC 4 coming. I'm very excited for that. I'm excited for what they're going to bring. But I am more excited for World War II Zombies and the direction that they're taking for that. It seems like they have our best interests in mind. And that's what I'm looking forward to. And as you guys know, we do have a beta coming up. Let's talk about the Xbox dates. For Weekend 2, Xbox and PlayStation 4 will share this time. September 1st through September 4th is the actual dates for when we'll get to see the World War II beta. Now this is a private beta. In Destiny recently we did see a beta that just happened. They had an open beta where PS4 was also able to come in. Now we know that this private beta is going to feature PlayStation 4 twice. 
all right so there is some exclusivity happening here even in the beta which does bring up a little worry for some people but this is all about xbox right now this video just wanted to refresh you guys that weekend two will start september 1st through the 4th and keep your books open for august 8th for dlc 3 with infinite warfare zombies it's all the information i got for you guys today i'll see you again very shortly with another video violent out <laughs>